These are dangerous. G'day there! Welcome back to the race side. Oh wow, it's already on the it's already on the screen. There we go. Oh gosh. Hello. How you doing? <clears throat> Great to be back for a random stream. Uh, because there's a random game out there. What the hell is going on? I was away for one weekend, and you make a whole ass game. Great. So, uh, y most of you have probably already seen this, but I have not. Uh, this is of course. The new Outlaws... What's it called? Star Wars Outlaws. Great name. Very cool. Uh, this came out... For me, it was like 6am yesterday, yesterday morning. It's currently 10am the next day. I still haven't watched the trailer. Uh, I had a mountain of work to do yesterday and just never got around to it. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to wait so I can watch it with all of you guys. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. So even though you've probably already seen all the stuff. And then this gameplay came out today as well. It's like, oh gosh, let's catch up here. Uh, we're going to watch it together. Uh, I haven't seen it. You've probably seen it. Is anyone in the chat hasn't seen this stuff? That'd be cool. That'd be cool. But um, it's going to be a good time. Let's talk about it. The, it looked cool. I've seen like the, like the picture I have on the thumbnail. That's like all I've seen of what this is. There's a commando droid and a lady. That's all I know. Uh, before we get into that, who's in the chat today? Who have we got? We've got Mando, we've got Jared, Numa, Sublight, how you doing? Dale, Sean, Lady Malfoy, great to see you all here. Jace, Chad's here. Amazing Wookie Talks, Keith, Geek Ledger, and Brooke. Hope you are all doing well, and to many of those others watching in the background, I'm so glad you're here. So, I'm looking, the people are pretty like, yeah, this has got to be good. Geek Ledger, I'm so hyped for this. I knew Ubisoft was making an open world Star Wars game, but this came out of nowhere at the Xbox showcase, right? That's what I mean. Like, wh why didn't we get like a memo about this? Like, why was this not uh, kind of prefaced? But you know what? Star Wars loves to be random with its promotional material, and this is the best kind of random. So this is really, really fun. <clears throat> hey, Keith, how you doing? Eight, you've watched it 18 times, Dale. Does that mean you really love it or you really don't like it? I'm, I'm, I'm imagining that means you like it. Hey, Rattle, how you doing? Great to see you from Wyoming. All the way from Wyoming. Jace loving the con videos. Thank you so much, Jace. Appreciate it. If you haven't already, check it out. The, ex the not exclusive, but just incredible interview with Emily Swallow uh, is live on the channel right now. Came out on a couple days ago. Uh, and just a few hours ago, like two and a half hours ago, the Star Wars experience video I made for Melbourne Oz Comic Con is out. So go check it out. Stay here for the stream as we do this. And then you've got something to look forward to after the stream ends if you haven't watched it. So definitely go check that out. It's going to be good. Oh my gosh, it's Caleb from Indie Yoda. <laughs> hey buddy, I've been... I've been so busy. I haven't even, like, replied to you back. But, uh, of course, if you didn't know, at the recent convention I was at, me and Caleb, a.k.a. Indiota, from the chat, from the race side, we met for the first time. Uh, and what do I say about Indiota? He, you look exactly like an Indiota. That's what I've got to say. No, it was so, it was such a fun time uh, to meet up with Caleb and so much stuff. From that, we'll be coming out soon as well from our panel. Uh, okay, so I've got the trailer here. Uh, I think this is going to work. Let's get the music down. We're going to get into the trailer. This is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch the trailer, and then this gameplay just came out as well, so we're going to watch the gameplay after that. Fingers crossed the internet holds up so it's not super laggy or anything. Uh, we'll see how we go. Let's tuck in. Let's tuck in. 
A soft studio. At least that's what I hear. A TIE fighter zips through a starship battle. The Empire? Wait, can you guys hear that? I'm assuming you guys can hear it, right? So it started so fast. What did it say at the start? Massive entertainment. These are dangerous times. A Ubisoft studio. At least that's what I hear. A TIE fighter zips through a starship battle. The Empire? A shot takes out the TIE in a fiery explosion. They're everywhere. A star destroyer Hoping. appears out of hyperspace and an opposing starship crashes into it. But the world here? A body in carbonite glides away from a hut family member. A what? Descriptive audio. Is that a thing? Have I done? What have I done here? Have I done something wrong? Descriptive audio. I don't know, what what does that even mean? What does that even mean? <laughs> Glad. How, I don't even know how to turn on a descriptive audio. What's that? That's hilarious. How, how did I do that? How do I undo that? I just got the trait like the trailer that was like the first trailer. What's happened? How did I put descriptive? No wonder I was like, why is there so much talking? I think you okay, hang on, hang on. Let me show you the trailer I clicked. Hang on. This is this is hilarious. What a great start. Hang on. Isn't this the this one? Just the it's from Ubisoft? Star Wars Outlaws official world premiere trailer. Right? That's the one. Also, isn't that funny that our stream is like on the screen? From the star official Star Wars channel? Okay. I'll do what Chad says. How do I... Okay. Give me, give me a second. Give me a second. How... From the official Star Wars... Oh, shoot. Jeez. So much is happening. Oh, God. So let's let's go to the Star Wars channel. <clears throat> Oh, I see it. Okay. Let me download this one. Hang on. How did I do that? That's like hard to do, right? So what did, what did, what did you guys call it? I downloaded the audio descriptive version. How did I do that? I love how I'm only partly the screen. All right. Let, well, let's just wait a second until I get the actual, uh, the actual, I know, right? So much is happening right now. Hey, CG, how you doing? Thank you so much. She was such a pleasure to talk to. She was so warm and nice. She was so great. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, Chad. <laughs> what have I done? Now I'm worried that it's going to be on all my... Okay, well, let's see if it's on this one. Diamond Fix. Thank God for that you're here. Had a forced vision of Anna hosting an interview panels at Celebration. Killed it this past weekend. That's what we're working to, boys. That's uh, that's my goal. 2025 Japan Star Wars Celebration. My dream is to be a host uh, on the on the panels, just even out on the floor. That is my goal. So the training starts now. Thanks. So thank you. Force vision means it's gonna happen. Okay. Let's get. The other video file here. Oh god, I don't even know where it is now. Hang on. Why is this so difficult? Yes, I would exactly. That's my number one dream goal. Okay. But thank you for the five dollar redos. I didn't even mention that part. Thank you, Diamond Figs. You're very generous. I, you know what? We can do it. We can do it. Okay. Um. Oh, geez, what's the right one? Okay. All right. So this is the one I downloaded from. Yes, true. We need the saber mic included. These are dangerous times. Is this normal? At least that's what I hear. We got the normal one. We got the normal one. Okay, it's like super loud too. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, let's get the act. Let's watch the actual trailer now. Looks good. Looks good so far. How to host the Oh, see, there we go. 
There it is. Calling it now. Okay. Let's watch this. What's happening? What's this game? I literally, I, is this question actually, before we get started, so much happening already. Is this the game that everyone's been talking about is the open world Ubisoft game? That's, this is that, right? Like, this is what that is. I don't even know. Why do I not know anything? The Empire? They're everywhere. But the world here... Oh, those pikes? Hey, Tony. Belongs to is, that the, is that Jabba or Hutt? Action though. Oh wow. No, is this like a cinematic trailer? I have to play their game. Looks like I'm all in. It's a lot. She's in here somewhere. On second thought, I'm out. <laughs> I've been held back my whole life. Mm. Now, that, eh? I just need a chance to finally be free. Wherever that takes me. I'm here to offer you a way out, okay? Get off my ship, Jalen. Give me a chance. K, K is it? Oh, there's the droid. Did you say K as in, like, is her name K? Risk. Not like K. Like, you gotta go off, K. Like, okay. You'll never look over your shoulder again. Wow, this is really, <laughs> really clean trailer. Rancor, of course. Is that like a thing? Every contract is gonna be a Rancor in every Star Wars game? The underworld shows no mercy. There's a pike, right? Yeah, there's, there's a pike. There's a big galaxy out there, and I'm gonna risk it all. Oh wow! Star Wars Outlaws coming 2024. Wow, that's cool. Damn, that's pretty nice. Okay, v K Vess, is that her name? K Vess, yeah. Okay, gotcha. K Vess. Damn, that looks super cool. The quality of this trailer is phenomenal. Really nice. It f feels... What did I... Did I make this up? Did Is this Empire? Post-Empire? This is super cool. No, I, I really like that. It's... And the open world, so you can, tr like, move around, right? It's not, like, specifically more like... Uh, survival Fallen Order series where it's like mission to mission, right? Oh, it's mid, it's mid original trilogy. That is cool. Wow, my gosh, this game sounds amazing. That is very, very cool. I want to look. Let's look at the um more of the stuff. Look, let's look at this gameplay trailer thing. Game, what's it called? Yeah, gameplay. I'm liking it. What What do you guys think of the chat? Let me know in the chat. I, that looks, it, it just looks super fun. And like, you know, I think a lot of games, I think that's why Fallen Order and Survivor do, do work so well. Because it's just really, really immersive. We get to fulfill that kind of satisfaction uh, by, of of wanting to kind of run around in the galaxy and all those kinds of things. It, it feels like one of those, like you can kind of just move around. I'm assuming that's what it means by open world. You can kind of move around quite freely. Where was the gameplay one? Is that that's on Ubisoft, right? Gameplay. Do, 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 do. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Hang on. All right, we'll get into the gameplay in a second. Let's talk about what you guys think. Yeah, open world explore everywhere plus multiple planets. Yeah, 
Super nice. That'd be awesome. Is you can apparently go from world to world. So different to um, like what it is for like Fallen Order. Like it's not just skipping or, you know, even like a Lego uh, Skywalker saga. That's cool. That's cool. Sean, I am really interested. Yeah, this is looking nice. Came out of nowhere. Know nothing about it. And it's already really interesting. Looks fantastic. On a related Star Wars gaming note, thoughts on EA Bioware announcing they're going to be move development on the Star Wars The Old Republic and uh, MMO third-party studio. They will be winding down the new content releases. Uh, I, d I don't know probably enough about it, to be honest, to have like an opinion or a statement on that. Um, I mean, like, it's the Star Wars Old Republic stuff, like the remake stuff is... Like, that's been cancelled and rebooted, like, ten times in the past, like, year alone. So, I don't know. I kind of take it as it comes. Like, you, you, you'll you know when it's when it's the really early stages of something, it's really on off with Star Wars. It, it's got to be really fairly confirmed and things coming out about it for me to be like, okay, this is actually happening kind of thing, if that makes sense. Looks great. It really does look great, doesn't it? It looks super nice. Yeah, I'm getting the gameplay up now. Let's get that up. Because that looks... I how long is the gameplay? Like eight minutes? It's going to be the best Star Wars game. It's going to be the best Star Wars game. That's a big statement, you reckon, Chad? Really? You think this could be better than Fallen Order? I think I like Fallen Order more than Survivor. I don't know. Survivor was just smoother, though. But Fallen Order's story was very good. I think it's going to be hard to beat Fallen Order story. Oh, 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 oh. I think it's super loud, eh? I don't know if it's super loud for you guys, but it's super loud for me. Oz Comic Con was amazing. Definitely check out all the all the content out about it. Yeah, it's been weird, eh? Absolutely. Yeah, I agree with you, India. Oh, nice. You can do what, like, you did with Bode and Marin and all that stuff. Be like, go do that. Nice one. Oh, this is gonna be really cool. Just look at how it's, it's, it'll be like Survivor, but just more detailed. Yeah, like BD1, like a, like a, this little cat dog with dreadlocks. Yeah, it's like, it's like the thing to do. Hey. Oh, frame rate dropping. Frame rank be dropping. Uh, I was just leaving. Okay, okay, we'll figure this out. Shield. That looks like the shield that uh, elites. No, no, no. Um, what are they called? <coughs> In Halo Three. Oh, Nyx is his name. This is getting bad. I did Yava. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure we have the best stuff. Let's try this out. The weekend too. It's gonna be awesome. Dink Ferric. Dink Ferric. I don't hear that enough. I think that 
doing pretty well, right? Oh, nice. Oh, that's gonna be so fun. Oh, that's gonna be so, so fun. Oh my gosh. That looks cool. Australia. It so does, me. Um, well, they'll probably forgive me. Comforting. Nix is B D Bradley. Oh, that's awesome. D Bradley, Bradley D. There's Jonta's hope. We made D. Bradley it, Nix. Baker. No, it is. Hey, it's D Bradley Baker. Bradley D Baker. I'm getting psyched out now. No, it's. it's I'm pretty sure. It's, is it D Bradley Baker? I didn't like being stuck in the editing for my bed. Oh, that's always a tricky time. I get you. I get you, Yava. I like her jacket. I feel like I should. I could dress as this character. What's it? What's her name? Um, K. Hey, Andy. Andy. His name is Andy. Andy the droid. Okay. No, but you Troy. What? Be careful. Donka's a broker. Not the a Bradley Baker, thank you. Yeah. She can't be trusted. Person. Who can out here? See you back at the ship. Was the was that droid's name Andy? Really? That's hilarious. Round two, and I still like my odds. Kvass, back already. I told you she's fresh, but she's. This is like a. Who's this? It's like a um. Just a friend. Bloody hands. Mon Carla, um, Sid. Job was more complicated. Than CG you coming in with a five dollar do. They should have cast you as the character then. You pull it off very easily. Thank you. I appreciate that. I feel like I could be a character in Star Wars. Hey. I wish twice. I was. I wish I was. There's also an interview with the actress who played KVS on the Ubisoft YouTube channel. Oh, okay, that's cool. Smoke a non-color. <laughs> oh my god. That's so true! Wait. We haven't met. Don't really know many of you. Stealing illegal contraband, running with syndicates. I could say you're a threat to the Empire. <laughs> but I won't have to if you're smart. Thanks. Oh, that's I'm cool. Smart enough to get yeah, myself right. into trouble. You pay the tax just like everyone else. Whoa, kid. Let's just relax. Cool blaster. Look at the greedies on that Dr. bad boy. Shara alive. Maybe. She. I just thought that Dale too. She kind of looks like Tala from Kenobi. I've got my Kenobi shirt on today, actually. You can never see it. <laughs> Could be. I told you not to trust her. Not the first time we've outrun the Empire. Is that our five? Oh my god, imagine if that's our five. <laughs> we need to leave. Yeah, no kidding. You gotta tell- yeah. If someone- is that droid's name Andy? Because that's hilarious if a freaking commander droid's name is Andy. She gives off Dr. Afro vibes. I think it's the haircut. They really love that haircut in Star Wars, actually. Which, funny enough, uh, what's it called? Is that like a wolf cut or something? I'm a fan of the haircut, to be honest. But she does have Afro vibes. I do agree with that. Oh, okay. Oh, are we good? 
So was that like a cut? Sense. It doesn't cut to it, right? You got you just fly up. Anybody on the sensors now? Wow. Tie fighters on us. Got one. I feel inclined to remind you that we should shake the empire quickly. Thanks, I'm working on it. This feels like if Star Wars Squadrons had a bit more of a meteor campaign storyline. Hey Bing, how you doing? Tosh Toshana. ND, get us out of here. Yeah, it was a pretty good transition. Yeah, so it's not a cut thing. Let's jump. I did play Squadrons, yeah. I, li I liked Squadrons, but it we just it. It just could have been better. Like, I really liked it, but... Yeah, the replayability wasn't great. Like, I wish I wish the campaign of Squadrons was a little better. Maybe the multiplayer was a little easier to do. Hey, Got your new toy. Is that a toy or a... Like a berry. So, what? How is that a toy? He's, just got, he's got a choke! Anywhere he's got a choke on it! How is that not a piece of fruit? Bit of violin. Nice. Oh, man. <laughs> the droid, man. Star Wars Outlaws coming twenty twenty four. That's awesome! Again, this is looking so crisp. This is looking so good. Star Wars Outlaws, man. I was like, so like, what the hell, the, the hell is this? I am embarrassed of my lack of trust. That looked really, really cool. What do you guys think? What do you guys think, Chad? Are you going to play this game? Okay, let's get the music. I'm going to play this game. It's so good. So, I think I saw from a 2024 release. Fair enough. You know what I did think was bizarre, though? It's only been... Jedi Survivor came out 28th of April. So it's, it's only been um, like six weeks since Jedi Survivor came out. Like, that's very soon. You know what I mean? It's very, very soon. I'm surprised they did it so close to Survivor. You know, I, I reckon they should have... Because we still got quite a bit of time till Ahsoka. Like, I know they'll be dropping trailers and all that kind of stuff. But, like, I would have dropped all this info maybe... Uh, maybe like July, like this time next month, like July, because then it's like we had Survivor, everyone's done all the side missions and had all those many weeks to like do their stuff with it. And then at the come down, everyone's like, oh, Survivor's done, then drop this. I guess six weeks is maybe a good amount of time, but I would have, I don't know, I thought, I think, I think, um, what's it, is my sound cutting in and out? Is my sound all right? Um... Yeah, I, yeah, it's it's fine they drop it now, but you know, maybe a little later. I don't know. I mean, we don't know when it's coming in 2024. Yeah, that's fair enough. Uh, that's probably a good question. I would say later in the year. I would assume later in the probably this time next year. Oh, maybe maybe like August next year. That's my that's my guess. That's my guess. I don't game anymore, but it has me considering getting back into it. Yeah, it it looks super like you can just get deep into like what you're doing the planets like survivor is that like i was really impressed with how much wider and broader the planets and places were in survivor than, than fallen order uh but it's definitely like you're, you're following this line you, you can explore and do side missions but you're, you're following this um very linear linear like kind of destinations but it's super cool 
Oh, it's showcase weekend. That's fair, fair enough. Yeah, actually, true, true, true. It wasn't just random. Good point, good point. Yeah, is the droid named Andy? That's hilarious. This badass, full-on commando droid with a trench coat. His name's Andy? That's hilarious. That's so great. Also, hey, Ben. I saw you come in before. How you doing? What did you say before? Yes. Do I have 3K? It keeps going up and down. Someone someone keeps subscribing than unsubscribing. I keep getting through. I like, I keep going to celebrate the 3,000 and then it drops down to 2999. And I'm like, oh, uh, uh, okay. So is it 3,000? I don't know. Maybe. Because I have to, I've, I've got my 3K celebration stream lined up, but we can't do it unless it's really, truly 3,000. It's E3 time. Time of year video game announcements getting made. Yeah, it's true. Ah, oh, I think I think it was announced to any twenty four. But you know what, Dad, you got a good point there. There's been a lot. You know, they often push back things. I think I went through. It was like Andor, Bad Batch, Mando, Survivor. Like I think it was four out of like five pieces of Star Wars media got pushed back in the like past like year. So you know what, they 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 sometimes do push it back. Uh, it didn't seem that clunky to me. It really didn't see that clunky. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention, like, to detail enough, but that didn't seem too clunky. Uh, the move, like, the, the visuals were pretty good. The landscape was pretty good. I don't know. Oh, is that the droid? ND. Oh my gosh. ND. Oh, and well, often they do that, like how Chopper is... What's his number? Like, C1 dash, like, 1 OP or something, isn't that? And then it kind of looks like Chop. They often do that, where they get the letters and the numbers to look like a name. So ND, so it sounds like he's Andy. Gotcha, okay. That's hilarious. Hilarious. Gameplay build is probably anywhere from six to eight months behind the current build. They usually pick up the most stable version at the time of the showcase, no matter how far back that is. If that is it choppy, this is going to be a great looking game. Thank you, Bing. Yeah, yeah, there we go. C1-1OP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. Starfield is coming out soon. That's not Star Wars, is it? If it's as good as Skyrim, I think I'll um, be playing that for a few years. I, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know what that is, but that's phenomenal. I'm assuming, yeah, I'm assuming there's been quite a few things announced at this Xbox uh, showcase. If we click that chat window, I would have got it. What? BD buddy, yeah, exactly, buddy. Oh, man. But let's do a poll before we wrap up for today. Only a short one today. I've got things to do. I have too much to do. Uh, let's let's get in here. Are you guys going to play the game? Here we go. Texting. Our, what's it? I keep forgetting what it's called. Outcast? Not Outcast. Outlaws. Jeez. I feel like they could have done maybe a different title. I don't know. I feel like they could have done a slightly better title. But poll on the chat. Are you going to play this game next year? Makes sense. We got, I mean, apart from like the rumblings, remakes of things, like there's nothing really uh, in the foreseeable future. Apart from this, this was like the biggest bet. Everyone's talking about this, um, at, you know, the Ubisoft open world game. It's cool that we've got a title for it now. We can see a little bit of it. Looks really cool. And also, like, the artwork behind me looks really nice. Hey, like that that title artwork. Hang on. Like, that looks cool, right? Like, that's a really well done Star Wars aesthetic looking uh, game to me. Like... And I, I, I all the gameplay. I, I, It's aesthetically very Star Wars. Really, really... Enjoy that. Hey, Sinister Mall. You'll be playing this game. It's Star Wars. Why would I not play it? That's a good question to ask. Good question to ask. 88% saying yes. Who is? Who are the 12% saying no? 
Um, actually, we have some non-gamers here, so that's fair enough. Yeah, does everyone else keep thinking outcast? Outlaws, outcast? That's fair enough, Brooke. Any recommendations on where to make graphic titles, Ray? Graphic titles? Like for... Like what for? Like for like social media posts and things like that? <clears throat> Is that what you mean? Uh, I use a program that's like a... It's not an app. It's just like a website program called Canva. C-A-N-V-A. -A. Um, it's like... It's kind of like a... What's it called? Like kind of like graphic design program. Uh, there's a free version which has a lot of stuff to it that you really don't need to pay. Uh, if you want to get really, really detailed, there is a paid version. Um, but the free version has so much to it. So that's where I do graphic things. I also heard that we'll be getting an update on Star Wars Eclipse sometimes, sometime in the fall. Yeah, it's that, like same thing. It's just so up and down. It's like, oh, it's kind of there. It's not... You know, as long as they handle, uh, like, you know, obviously they had all that um, debacle of what was going on behind the scenes. The gaming industry is very notorious for not being the most uh, kind and forgiving and uh, well-behaved industry. Uh, so as long as they get that sort of, that should be a cool game. I'm not, to be honest, I don't have a lot of experience with those really, like, deep dark games like you know obviously i didn't do a lot of gaming with the kind of the prime time of star wars uh gaming when you know old republic knights of the old republic all those kinds of games when they came out like early 2000s but you know that's a, a big portion of the star wars community really love those games and i felt like i feel like the cinematic thing of star wars uh eclipse was really good and i think that for for that kind of market that audience this word that kind of audience uh, but yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, will I be streaming Survivor anymore? Not anymore. Not anymore. I, you know, I might come back to it. There is still a lot I haven't done and completed on Survivor, but I think I'll be just doing that in my own time, enjoying, just hanging out with Cal. Um, but we did a solid, I don't know, did we do like 11 streams with Survivor? It was pretty good. It was very, very good. But anyway, gang. CT coming in right as I was about to wrap up. Star Wars Outlaws looks absolutely incredible. So too does AC Mirage. What's AC Mirage? What? But it does look incredible. Star Wars Outlaws. Trailer for Star Wars Eclipse is going to look nothing like the trailer. It was just the concept trailer. Yes, it was just a cinematic trailer. I hadn't even started working on the game yet when it, that came out. Yeah, a cinematic trailer is like often... Yeah, concept trailer, same thing. Um... What are you guys, man, you all these other games you guys are talking about? All right, gang, well, we'll wrap up there for today. Make sure you do check out my other content. There is a avalanche of stuff coming your way. We have the Emily Swallow and Experience video already out on the channel after this. Go check them out. Uh, see what I got up to over the weekend. Checking out some awesome Star Wars stuff at the Oz Comic Con convention in Melbourne. It was really really fun uh i also got another video coming out with fan interviews australian star wars fans all over oz comic con talking about star wars some great people i interviewed some very fun fun people uh so if you want to get to know more about australian fans and, and what we like and what we're excited for keep your eyes out for that should be hitting your screens tomorrow We'll be back also for another live stream on your Wednesday. Whoa. My, your Wednesday, my Thursday for our usual The Race Side show. Uh, that might be a 3K celebration stream. We'll see how we go. Unless anything else gets dramatically announced, that will be our next live stream. And uh, we'll have lots of fun in that as well. Thank you so much for tuning in for just this short little stream. I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day. Keep your eyes out on all that content. Go check it out. I'll see you in the next one. And always choose the race side.
Rah!